y'all thanks for caking with the baker so today we are making some vegan and gluten-free mac and cheese i'm doing a little bit of a twist on it i had planned to do a mix of cheddar and pepper jack but um i saw some reviews of uh the Mikios, Mikios. <laughs> Mio, yes, thank you. I'm, I'm tripping. My, I went, I had a mind blank for a minute. But um, I was gonna use mostly cheddar and then like one bag of the pepper jack. But I was reading some reviews. I spent all this money buying it, and then a lot of people were saying the cheddar kind of tastes like had a sweet taste or a butterscotch. So before going and making a whole batch, I opened the bag up and tried a couple pieces and I understood exactly what they were talking about. It kind of had a sweet flavor. So instead, I went back to the store and bought some more uh, pepper jack. We'll see how much we use. Um, if I, I just want to make sure it's good and creamy and cheesy. So if I have extra sauce, then I'll just save it for the next time. Let's get into it. So for cooking the noodles, you just want to follow whatever the directions are for the particular brand that you're using. I'm using the Bonza Elbow Noodles, and these are gluten-free, vegan, all of that. So that's what I'm going to be using. You still can't believe you put purifying water when you boil them. I thought boiling is purifying the water. Yeah, but you know how I am. Yeah. So after you get your noodles all cooked, drained, and rinsed off, then you want to make sure you preheat your oven. I'm going to do mine at 350, and then I'm going to get the sauce going. Now with the sauce, you can definitely, if you want, try to make your own vegan cheese. There's tons of recipes out there with nut cheeses or creating your own nut cheese, and then also some other ones that use more vegetables. Um, and orange colored vegetables to get that color of a mac and cheese with nutritional yeast. But for me, if I'm in a hurry, this is what I'm gonna use. It's just some cheese that's already done and ready to go for me. So that's what we're using today. So for the sauce, I'm gonna be using the butter. And then, so after the butter, then I'm also going to add some cream cheese. this melt down a little bit then I'm gonna add some of the pepper jack to it and because the pepper jack is a little spicy um, I'm not really gonna add too much extra seasoning to it And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of almond milk just to help get that sauce going. Whip it real hard, whip it, whip it real hard. So after you get your mixture all nice and creamy and it's a nice consistency, not too thin, not too thick, then you can pour it in over to the noodles. So after you get that all mixed in good together, I'm going to pour it over into this dish. And I did grease the pan a little bit with some of this um, butter flavored coconut oil. Then I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more cheese right on top. So the oven is preheated and now we're gonna put the macaroni in for about 15 minutes. So then depending on how you like your macaroni and cheese, if you want it to have that little crispy um, coating just on the top, not too much, you don't want it hard and crunchy, but just a little bit, then you can broil it for just a couple minutes, but make sure you watch it because you don't want it to be burned up. You don't ooh, ooh, I cannot wait to taste this macaroni. Yeah, I can be an extra. No, I'm excited about it. The way you took all that time to put it in, all of the cheese that ain't cheese, all of the shells that ain't shells. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I knew, I knew when I tasted that butterscotch cheddar, 
I knew I could not make a batch and have Keese try it because Keese already be ready to hate on whatever vegan stuff I'm making. So I'm like, I can't give him a reason. But to Scott, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. All right, let's go in for this. But this is more of the pepper. This is pepper jacky, right? Yeah, pepper jack. Yes, All right. pepper jacky. All right, here we go. Now, no cap on this one. That, this, this, this is good. You like it? Yeah. It's good. Got the peppery jack going in there. Pepper jack. Taste that. I like that. <laughs> it's cheesy. Let me, get another bite. Let me get another bite of that. It's nice and cheesy. Mm. <laughs> A little spicy. Never gone. Yeah, because it was that pepper jack um, flavor. You don't really have to add a ton of extra seasoning. If you want to, you can add a little, but I wouldn't go overboard. Oh, I'm thoroughly impressed with that one right there. All right, we got us some mac and cheese now. I heard that. She got us some mac and cheese now. <laughs> we got us. Oh, you said we. Because you, you transferring over right to me. <laughs> I'm trying, slowly but surely. All right, y'all. But let me know if you'd like us to try any other uh, recipes, anything else you've been thinking about. We just might try it. All right, y'all. It's another recipe from Megan the Vegan. <laughs> I like this, though. This right here is real good. Mm. Oh, three bites. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious.